A century ago, pioneers from the old world and the new ventured over unexplored trails and uncharted seas to begin life again in a new land. Yesteryear, a month of weary, uncertain travel. Today, man reaches new horizons in hours and minutes. The two largest bridges in the world, symbolizing both pioneer vision and modern courage in the conquest of space and time. Between these two great bridges, in historic San Francisco Bay is an inspiring tribute to the achievements of our time. Here is a dream come true, the Golden Gate International Exposition on man-made Treasure Island. I is first thrilled by the colossal elephant towers at the entrance portals of a walled city of massive buildings, exotic in, this, in the days of senoritas and caballeros are the graceful gay dances of old Spain. Just beyond, at the court of the Seven Seas, is the giant statue of Pacifica, boldly expressing the theme of the Golden Gate World's Fair. Behind it, a silver chime curtain tinkles a tranquil song of peace. Pacifica is a massive sculptured figure 80 feet high, overlooking the court it dominates, the exposition's vast garden acres. Sparkling bright fountains are everywhere. Living silver strands, reflecting the flowers and the brilliant colors of great walls under the sunlit California sky. Looming over the court below rises the graceful Tower of the Sun, set among pools and gardens carpeted with the bright flowers. This is the theme center. Its lofty spire, the highest structure of a pair, reaching to the sky, is a beacon seen from the surrounding hill. Its shimmering reflections bring beauty from the sky. The spirit of the dance expresses, in music and in motion, all the static grace of the courts and the buildings. At the Court of Flowers, the rainbow fountain blends sparkling waters with multicolored blooms. This charming setting frames the statue of the girl and the rainbow. The Arch of Triumph looms up nearby. The Gateway is a popular center of affair. Forty acres of fun, carnival gone wild. Here's a midway that is a midway, big and busy. Every kind of entertainment, old and new. Streets of the world with foreign villages grouped around the central plaza. Colorful pavilions, theaters, shops and restaurants. Daring sideshows. And the milling thousands laugh and play. The cavalcade of the Golden West on an open stage 300 feet long is the major amusing spectacle of the fair. It brings to life again those chapters of the romance of the early West, the days of the Padres and the founding of the missions, the Spanish explorers, the covered wagon trains, the discovery of gold, the building of the transcontinental railroad, and on down to modern times. Here the old West lives again in all its glory.
national dances old and new, colorful costumes, gay music, laughing girls and the gallant partners in the folk dances of other lands. The spirit of happy, carefree days gives action to the beauty all around. A replica of an old mission brings to this very land a reminder of the influence of the cross in the early progress of the West. Thirty-six different nations are represented by exhibits within the massive wall. South America, the Orient, and Europe, too. The Far East makes a friendly visit. A Japanese samurai house set in an ancient garden typifies the finer traditions from across the wide Pacific. Here is told the story of Japan, contrasting the old with the new. And friends from down yonder greet us at the Australian building with rare exhibits from the antipodes. Far off Indochina proudly shows art of centuries ago to the people of today. The wide Pacific promenade leads to the impressive Chinese village. A unique exhibit created by old friends, it mirrors all the majesty and romance of Cafe, old and new. An authentic reproduction of a Chinese wall city. Tea gardens and native bazaars, temples with pagan gods, and their fantastic decorations of dynasties long vanished. Fun in the ancient oriental manner, Punch and Judy ages old. And looking down on this bit of old China are the quaint pagodas of song and story, marking their exotic design against the sky. Sampans and junk sail again on a miniature sea. Pacific House is the fair center for all the far-flung nations across the Western Sea. The new in art plays its part too. It is dominantly expressed in the massive murals of the Federal Building, telling in pictures a history of a nation, bold of line, daring in color. Industry, too, is well represented with a vast array of instructive exhibits. Everywhere, music quickens the heartbeat. Dances of old Mexico respond to the soft strumming of guitars. Four hundred acres of kaleidoscopic color, a strange combination of the beautiful, the exotic, and the magnificent. A brooch of rare gems on the bosom of the blue water. When will man's genius ever again create so lovely a thing? The day here is glorious, but as the sun drops in the sparkling Pacific and the purple dust creeps from the east, the enchantment of the night gives a new glamour. Tinted illuminations of nocturnal harmony painted with great brushes of light, glittering in the dark, a veritable fairyland with changing colors of blue and rose and green. Fountains become living rivers of fire. Columns of luminous vapors rise to the stars, which seem reflected a thousandfold on Treasure Island in the bay, proclaiming peace to all men, and through it, progress and greater things for all the world.